try it now. Just to make sure. Now is this visible? Yes, yes. yes. Let's go to this EC2 instance. Mm -hmm. This is my EC2 dashboard. And go to EC2 learning. Launch instance. Then Microsoft. This is free to your okay. uh, Keep your eye to create new repair. Then keep it uh, this uh, by default. Uh, one uh, difference is that like uh, when we creating a uh, windows ec2 instance we have to this uh, in security groups idp traffic like always this is anywhere so that we can uh, use to share our screen or, or use our server and when while we uh, launching our Linux, in linux instance we have to uh, allow our sss node i put allow and launch instance My instance state is pending right now. Leave it. So, okay, here is the question. How many uh, minutes do we have to wait? Okay. We have to wait three, four minutes. Four minutes. Okay. Yes. So answer is four minutes. Yes. Okay. This is now running state. We can connect. Yeah. Let me go this RDP client. Get password. We have to wait this four minutes at least. Actually, in company real time, uh, most of the time they use Linux server, no? Because um, most of the time they use only Linux. Mm -hmm. Can you refresh once? Just a minute. Yeah, that's why we are going to launch uh, Linux today. Exactly. After this, uh, we will launch Linux. I don't know why I am, uh, you know, disconnecting. I three to four time I have disconnected. There <laughs> <laughs> also I will actually have to download the PAM file also, no? Yes, yes. Then we have to wait for it. Yeah, yeah, that's just a okay. You can discuss about the same things. So how you do this? You can just uh, tell me that. Yeah, just go to this uh, EC2. Like uh, Amazon is uh, like a kind of server uh, mm -hmm. service service provider company. So they uh, they provide all kind of service we can see over there. Like EC2 uh, and at least container like uh, Docker and all that. Uh, just a minute. Okay, uh, what we can do, uh, we can launch uh, Linux also. So you can go back yeah, and sure, launch sure, sure. Linux also. Yeah, sure, sure, I sure, think sure. Uh, today you can do, I will just guide you. And uh, because today is a Linux uh, tutorial we are going to cover. So everybody, I think, familiar with the Linux. So let's, you know, uh, yeah, start I can with do the it. basic Linux command. 
Okay. So we are now in EC2 dashboard. Goes to instance running. Uh, already my one server is uh, running here. So I have to create new uh, instance. So launch instance. Now today we are going to uh, launch new Linux one. Linux. Then I have to select this Amazon Linux machine. Yeah, Amec, uh, Amec, or uh, Ubuntu also, also, right? I think Am uh, Amazon you can select. Yeah. Yeah, Amazon. And go for free tier. There are two free tier uh, instances. Uh, they are providing one is kernel uh, 4.14 and kernel 5.1. Then I just go with this uh, 5.10. Yeah. Uh, when we create a Windows instance, they automatically gives us, uh, yeah, the storage of 30 GB. And now when we create a Linux instance, they automatically or by default, they giving us a 8 GB. So, and so just before I said, when we are creating a network or security groups, uh, while creating a, win a Windows instance, they, they have RDP traffic form. And now we, when we creating a Linux, we have SSS traffic form. So I just click on anywhere. Yeah, uh, exactly. From the, on my uh, right side of the screen, we can see the summary what we did. Actual number of instance one, which kind of image we selected, uh, which server type we selected firewall actually no create a new security group and all that launch instance yeah create a new pair yeah so it, next new uh, there are the two private key format here one is dot uh, pm and dot ppk i think dot uh, pm is used for windows and dot ppk used for uh, mac machine right no ppk file oh. use uh, by using ppk file we can log in through putty putty yes yes exactly by using putty private file, key. Uh, we can log in through git software git software right, right, right. Yes. so uh, i am selecting dot ppk right create mm -hmm. okay oh, this is Download my case. Now I'm going to launch instance. My instance is going to launch. Yeah, it is successfully launch. We launch instance. So here I create a Linux instance. Uh, to access this Linux instance, I have to go with putty gen or putty like i have to yeah. create my key right so i just yes, copy right. this my public ip address here now i'm going to put gen here i said load downloads we have to create all files so that it can be visible now next Save private key. It says yes. Now I'm saving that key on my desktop. Save. Key. Saving. This is a save on my desktop. Now I have to open this puppy. Now I have to enter this my. Uh, public IP over here, paste, then go to the connection, SSH, auth, and browse for file one, which one I saved. This one I saved on my desktop, and now click on open. Accept. Okay, accept. Yeah, now my uh, Linux machine is going to ready for start. So I have to put my uh, basic command like because I am creating my instance on EC2 service, so I just uh, just a minute. I'm making this font visible so that you can see appearance change. Okay. 
multiply. Yeah. So I have to basic uh, command like ec hyphen user. Check it. So just a minute. Paste. I actually I am uh, putting some uh, wrong command over here. Just a minute. Okay, meanwhile, let me launch also. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's launching. So what I what I did is I uh, just I put uh, my post just a minute my public IP on this software called as Putty. Uh, now I paste on here, then go to connection, then SSH, then auth, then put my this uh, Linux new key file over here, and now open then open my instance. So I'm right now here. And putting uh, the first command is I have to do is ec2 hyphen user. Now I have to make some changes as a root user. Then I have to put the new command is called as sudo ec2 hyphen. Oh, see, when I put this sudo su hyphen, uh, the sign coming here is a dollar. Now when I put this command, the sign is have hash. This uh. Uh, command uh, gives me a permission that you can change whatever you like when uh, we use a windows machine there is called a administrator in linux machine we call as a root user uh, am i right sir yes correct so now uh, th this will not uh, you know bother us uh, because there are some time uh, we uh, want some uh, permission so now we are already in super user so that they will not ask any uh, uh, you know permission so now i think uh, uh, they're asking for update it so just uh, yes. run uh, yum package up yum update update no 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 uh -huh. update so no 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 yeah so same like we are installing windows so we are clicking on update right so same we are doing here also they asking yes or no so yeah yes so, uh, yeah, because just we launch uh, EC2, that is a Linux. Uh, just uh, let, let's suppose uh, we just install one OS. So, uh, what we are doing is we just installing the latest, uh, you know, uh, uh, files. That's files, it. exactly. If I want to clear this, all this scenario, just put just a command C clear. 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 Or you can put control uh, L also. Yeah. Even if you put clear also, it it not might mean that it's all clear. You just go up, uh, scroll up. You will see everything. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <clears throat> see, yeah. I'm scrolling now. I can see this everything. Okay. I think so. Uh, it's over to you now. <laughs> no, no, no problem. You can uh, go ahead. Uh, you can just uh, start with a, a basic command. That uh, first you can go with the mkdr. Yeah. Uh, like uh, in Windows, we are creating folder. Here we creating directory. Uh, the, the simple command is make for mk directory for dir. So I'm just taking the uh, name of like a uh, Linux one. Oh, sorry, no, no, you okay. Can we uh, Linux one? So today we got you, there will be a space. Yes, yes, on to see this directory, uh, just like uh, when we use uh, our mobile we have to see which how many apps in over there just put uh, the command like ls it means list list 
So we can see I create here one directory. We can see here. Yes, I create one directory. If I want to go in this directory, the simple command is uh, I think cat no sir. No cd change. Yeah, directory. change directory. I have to go. Ah, yeah, I have to. I have to go on this Linux one. Uh -huh. So I just put cd, change directory, and my directory name. This just directory just name. select this and uh, you put your right click. This you know copy. This I entered on this Linux, so I can make uh, here change or I can write anything here, over here. Right? So? Correct. Correct. So now we are in the folder. If you see, we are in uh, Linux. So now Linux we can uh, type pwd. PWT. So see, it will show where are you. Yes. We are in the root, and then we are in, in Linux. Linux one. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now we can uh, do the cat. So cat means we just going to create one file also. So cat, and then uh, you can just say you know a grid and sign. Ha, huh. and then a space, the file one. You can they give whatever name. Yeah. Hit enter. Now hit uh, happy learning. You can hit any uh, anything. You can just and then yeah, happy learning. Correct. So now you have come out. You have to press Control D. Yeah, that's it. Now you can uh, see we have created files. Just do ls. See the file is created. Okay. So again you have to uh, read. Again you have to put cat. And then read it. Uh, cat file one. Yes. Or you can put more. Let's say again one more command, right? Put more, more. and then file name. See, it's giving right. So now we understand. Um, we understand sudo. Sudo is for what? Permission. The second thing, we understand how to run any. Packages like it's a simple yum command. You have to use in DevOps. I think main command is only yum. Yes, <laughs> you have to use a lot of time yum only. Okay, and then other we uh, then we got NKDR DIR, then CD for change, then LS, PWD, cat, and then um, you know it shows the history also. So you will understand what you did. You will go over history also. So now again, uh, what we can do? Uh, we can create one more file. Let's say cat file two. Now enter. This is the file two. Yeah, I'm entering. No, no. Just you have to uh, write uh, first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Control D. And again, more. Yeah. So now, uh, what we can do if we want both the uh, both the file contained will be uh, uh, like mud. So what we can do, like we can say that cat and then uh, double uh, and. And even uh, first, let's see the how far file one we can. Say, someone is asking that uh, I want to update my file. So how we, so see, we cannot uh, uh, delete the content, but we can update. So let's uh, see greater sign and uh, two greater sign to update it. Uh, oh no, no, greater, greater only. Uh, yeah. File name one. Yes, enter. Okay, now you can uh, uh, write whatever you want uh, to write again. And just remember what we written um, previous and now just see. Control D. Now again, more file one. Now don't wait, wait, don't enter. So, how many things what will we going to print? Anyone? Uh, first one we have written, and uh, this one also best wishes also will print. Okay, let's enter. There. So that means if you not put uh, only you have put uh, the sing uh, single uh, greater than, so the output will be changed because it will be a overridden then. But now it's it's added, so this we can do. 
so this is a, all the simple things we, what we can on a daily basis why we use cat because let's suppose uh, uh, you are uh, working in a production if you are there are, there are other commands also we can de, uh, do but the things that why we are um, putting cat we cannot delete anything because if, if you see and um, we are not deleting anything so cat is the best way to work in production support okay let's again uh, the similar type of if you want to create some uh, let's suppose uh, there are requirement is there that, that i am in my organization we are having sometime we have to create a empty file so how to create a empty file we can touch. use the command touch command, touch command. yeah so these are basic because basically everybody knows it so i am we i am going with a very very you know um, basic thing and even uh, linux is not like that you know it's very easy because just you need to do because nobody knows the command when they are doing it they know a lot of command then <laughs> you ask them nobody knows that <laughs> so because this is just to you know play around if you are going to check you will just play yeah touch file 3 yeah. more Correct. So, no, no. So it will so, so it will so and uh, um, empty file. So the uh, you know data is stored there. Okay. Yes. Now this we all, all we got it. Now a lot of people don't know. They forget also. So uh, one best command I understand is the help command. Exactly. Enter help. And then enter ls. Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay. So he, this all the LS. commands are there. <laughs> it will mention everything. But if you want a specific like ls, how many you know occurrence will be there? Like how many from ls we can uh, do? So you can just help minus minus ls. I find I find ls. I find I find lx. No space will be there, na? No? Space ah. space. No no. I think uh, one way. Wait wait. I have also forget how to like. Uh, I think there will be as. ls mm, i just ls is space hyphen 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 space hyphen hyphen uh, ls is only there because we have to uh, put the command name help hyphen hyphen ls no no so ls first first put the command then hyphen hyphen ah, help so first put the yeah. command yes so you right. so just you remove the the first push command and then uh, hyphen uh, is less we do that uh, version uh, version like java version you know okay. hyphen No no no. Uh, you put uh, ls. No 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 no. First ls 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 space space hyphen hyphen help help. Yes yes. So it will show all what you have to do. Everything. This is just a, a documentation for that particular command. No no no. Go uh, you. I think you are. Yeah. This is only a, a to c a b b c c d. So it will say a almost do not is implied. So now you can just say la also you know lb also so it will say everything generally what we use the uh, we use lt uh, uh, hyphen ls uh, hyphen rt we use yes. not because it will list down and even uh, it, it is a time bound also so it it, it will so you which one is the your you know uh, latest uh, file all that so you can use on this okay till this point of time any any issue no okay just and put, uh, uh, for a detail uh, for a detail help you can use man command ha uh, man command also yes man space command name i don't know why my chrome is i i tried 10 times always is <laughs> opening it man is space like ls man ls yeah enter enter now yeah. so it will give you the complete detail of that command and whatever the options available some use cases also if you go down so it will show you in detail so what whatever you see with the help of my hyphen hyphen help is a smaller version of this uh, detailed document hmm. a manual page ls yeah it's a manual page yeah, yeah. okay so let's uh, do, um, uh, i can just uh, use history let's see what uh, till date what we learn Okay, uh, 
साई कैट इज जस्ट अ कॉपी एट टर्मिनल बेसिकली सो वट एवर द फाइल नेम यू प्रोवाइडिंग टू कैट कैट कमांड इट्स कॉपिंग इट एंड मोर इज अनदर कमांड टू पेचिंग द फाइल सेम बिकॉज़ By using echo, also we can create a file right? with the content. Yeah, exactly. No, no. The file is created by the with the help of greater than sign. Okay. Echo, echo, echo will not only help you to creating a file. Echo yeah, is kind of print, print def, right? Sorry. Echo is kind of print def. Correct. Yes. Yes. Echo is just a kind of print def. Correct. Print def. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Yes. Correct. Let me launch in a different. Did you did the S three? Yes. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. So uh, till date, we we understand this twenty three commands. okay now because uh, we don't have much content in file 1 uh, or any any of the file so there is a two more command is a head command or trial command let's suppose uh, there are 1000 line you want the first 10 lines or 100 lines so you can say that l hyphen 100 okay let's uh, do the line no 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 tell hyphen t t a No T A T A I L. Tail. हाँ चल iPhone. Tail. हाँ चल iPhone. Ten number. Let's print ten. Ten. Yeah number. And then uh, uh, the file name. Yeah file one. Because uh, I only have a uh, two lines, so it will be two lines. Oh, I think it's not taking. No, it has given. So you need to put the tail tail space hyphen and space ten. Uh, tail hyphen ten. Tail hyphen. Tail space hyphen and 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 for numeric. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Space ten. Space no, 10. no no no. After and space ten. How like, many lines you want to print? No no not two lines at the end. So after hyphen and. Actually, I have to put a file one name also, no? No no no. So just put the tail. Okay, I'll. Uh, Completing yeah. the command again. Yeah. Tail space hmm. hyphen n space hmm. numeric ten space file name. Okay. But well, generally, what we do now, tail hyphen ten and then the file name, it will also work. Uh, I think some. some yeah, it works. Uh, it works. It works. I know because uh, we do. Yeah, yeah see, it's there. <coughs> okay. So same. Uh, use head also. Just uh, replace tail. Replace the head. So it will show the. top so same command just add to replace yes 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 file one okay so be because we don't have a lot of content here is a we do not have much content because of that if you suppose how 1000 um, or 10000 line then you will see you quickly will you know see that so then there is a very basic basic command now we having a editor also so uh, there is a vi editor and then nano editor is there so that you can also use but thing for today's class nano and vi will be a difficult <laughs> how many of you uh, you know familiar with the editor linux editor anybody knows the linux uh, editor nano or uh, vi vi editor i know no right yeah. okay so here i think uh, this is all basic command uh, let's let say now there's a move command is there mv 
here what we can so re rename like we suppose uh, uh, want to rename uh, file name like suppose file name one we mean want to rename that we can do from here right so you can just enter uh, file name and then whatever you want yeah no 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 yeah i think it's done see lx yes see so file one is replaced by file x okay so this we can know and then uh, uh, because as of now we have only one directory we are working linux one so if we want to move it let's create a new directory linux2 and create one uh, uh, file there also so i have to cd I'll go back cd correct Pick. or not mm, correct correct, correct. I came back to the root user now. Yes, now root user. Now you again create a layer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should I make another file over here? Ha! You can make another file and type for. <coughs> In that you can. Uh, write something okay create uh, multiple file like you no know, yeah a mm -hmm. i do put it on no uh, it will uh, not give you i think only uh for more i think cat is a facility to use more i think so uh, should i go for more no no more will just so uh, means i'm i'm talking about uh, multiple files so just uh, go with a uh, one cat return uh, file a hmm. enter now right here right here mm. this is the file a Okay, Ctrl D. Yeah. Now again, uh, uh, create one more file. Yeah. This is the file too. Yes. So now uh, uh, we have two file here also. So what we have to do is we have to move file B from directory Linux to to linux one just uh, hit pwd first yeah yeah so we are in root oh we you are creating uh, root only why it's uh, showing that uh, okay uh, linux is not created i'm making here uh, i just made here now make directory linux to mm, do ls Okay. Oh, I think what we did, na? We did okay. not. Okay. Did not. Yes, we did not enter oh. to the CD. Okay. Okay. So let's move. Uh, yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, just uh, move it uh, from uh, this file, uh, file A to uh, root to uh, Linux uh, Linux two. Should I go back? Maybe. Ah, go back. CD dot dot. Yeah. So uh, I MV. And then uh, uh, this uh, uh, copy that uh, slash root. Hmm. And then again slash and uh, file name. File B. Huh. A. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. yeah. It's A. And then uh, just uh, just uh, space. And then again you have to put the. Uh, um uh, that is uh, slash two slash slash and then uh, you put the directory name uh, linux2 hit enter and let's see because this is a very basic basic command <laughs> <laughs> so give uh, go to the that directory linux2 let's see because generally we are not using like you know uh, these are command ls Oh, we got it. Very good. Yeah. So you understand. So 
we have we have created uh, uh, created two files in root directory. Now what we do uh, did it for via move com uh, command. We just move it. So now you are see there are two two things we can do with the mv command. Either we can move the files, or either we can rename, rename. the files. Okay. Okay. Now this all basic is come. Again, you can use the echo. All I think that is also will cover then. <laughs> use echo. Echo generally is a very very basic command, and everybody you know. Echo any file. Yeah. See, so we learn forty two. Wow. Let let's uh, you know uh, learn eight more. Does anyone uh, know more command? Yeah. Uh, as of now, let me think more then. Okay, do uh, uh, this uh, also uh, ls lrt also, so it will show. So go to the any of the directory. Acha, no, no, it's only one directory, na. Go to it's back Linux. to uh, Linux one. Ah, uh, Linux one. Now in Z. Yes. Uh, should one. I enter on Linux one? Ah, uh, Linux one. CD uh, Linux one. Yes. Now uh, ls hyphen lrt. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ls, LS hyphen LRT. Yeah, it enter. So see, it will show you uh, the latest file first, and it will be uh, list down everything. So let's suppose there are thousand files, and uh, generally, uh, if you see the you know, job is running, let's suppose your you know job is uh, running by eight a.m. and it's uh, every fifteen minutes is running until seven p.m. is running. So you will list down everything. It will show you all the slices. You know. Time wise, so we can use ls hyphen lrt. Okay. Okay. I think I'm just thinking. Okay. Sudo also we understand. Sudo is what for permission, mm -hmm. right? Sudo is the keyword, and we, you just uh, put uh, su, so it will change the user. That super user know. do. Ah, huh, super user do. Okay. Sometimes we have to use uh, because here we are not using anything. We are using uh, user also. I think I'm not sure what user you have. Uh, can you do that? Uh, can you go yeah, to the add user? Uh, just, uh, just change to your uh, user, like root to user. So I do uh, make command like uh, add user. No, no. Just first add the host name. Host name. Host name. Let's see what is coming. Okay, so this is the host name. So whatever we, uh, this is the I think uh, I think for user I think we have to mention this, right? Yes, yes. Add user and I think I have to put my name. I think uh, sudo. Uh, let's uh, try this. No problem. We will uh, you know yeah. sudo. We need to back to the our uh, uh, you know uh, same user uh, hyphen su. Uh, uh, same same hyphen su, and then uh, this name. Uh, your uh, you know username whatever your name is there you have created i think this is only the uh, no it will be a not username uh, it will be a su only hyphen su i uh, should have put sudo space uh, hyphen su, and su. S no, s su yeah and then uh, uh, no, no, no 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 you don't have to enter now hmm? go, go Type history first. History. Go to history. I think uh, maybe you are not understanding. And just type history. On the top, you go. The first command. What we did? Oh, yeah, it's not coming there. Okay. Sudo is not coming over here. Sudo su. Okay. So sudo su we are in. So what we did is when we are uh, typing this, it will uh, uh, hyphen we we put. It will go to the root sudo, right? We want to go to the back to our user only. You understand? Yes. So that we want to do. Okay, no problem. Uh, let's uh, take some uh, other one. I think sudo we can uh, do it uh, later on also. Uh, I think uh, I'm just giving a real time scenario only. So sometimes we have to check the uh, this uh, what is that uh, uh, utilization. Okay. So you mm -hmm. we we use a df command. A df. Only df. Huh. Enter. See, so it is showing all the utilization which file having you know what. So this is uh, it's giving me everything, right? Now you can use a top command also. So top command will say what what the uh, you know it's running uh, what was is running. So let's see. 
yeah very good that's great yaar <laughs> generally we are, we are not using in you know normal system you are using from you know our uh, you know real time system so see all all the process which is running it's giving you know time wise so system md is running for uh, one minute something so top command what do you understand we will uh, see which process is taking more time and which process is taking you know, highest time so we will uh, check all the process even for this if we enter we can uh, use kill command also i think yeah. the top command is kind of a task manager cause updating uh-huh. everything no? every uh, everything whatever process is running in that particular instant uh, it will put uh, everything you know shorted out okay so from here also if there is any process is running more than you know let's suppose it's supposed to run 30 minute and now it's running 2 hours so we need to kill the process so what we have to do kill hyper here i we are not going to ch- kill anything because everything you know <laughs> um, uh, you know mandatory things are there so uh, just you have to, have to pull kill uh, hyper sh- uh, and process I... id pid how can i exit from this control d no ha huh. let's see control d you know it go back i think it will be yeah you see it's a uh, the, the area it's kept no 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 go go down yeah, yeah so generally see the uh, linux is very easy even every time you will see the recommendation what you have to put what have to not to put so if you are uh, learning linux you have to do it while only you can learn otherwise if you thinking you will learn the command then i think Uh, i cannot do but maybe you can do you learn the command then it's okay but generally the if you are working then only you are able to cope with linux yeah practice because, is the key only ha yeah. uh, so because linux is hard that's why na everybody in the world if you suppose till date i will say how many times you open window and how many times you open a linux we will say okay over 100 time um, a window so i think that we have so this so that's why this is the boring is do we click a lot of things but here the problem is and we need to just uh, write command but the thing is that when you start in learning linux and you are familiar with the linux then we uh, you know you are uh, you know um, you know uh, just found out the linux if you see any incident and you watch any movie is any movie you are seeing that uh, window is uh, hacking some other no only linux you find tons of commands are there and they are hacking something if you see any watch movie right so window is nowhere so if you do some you know big task <laughs> involved you have to use linux, linux only. only okay so that is the thing okay yeah so anki do you have any other command remember i think this all command i know i think this is all basic i think then it will be a very high uh, then you will not understand so anyone uh, uh, having any any doubt on this all commands just uh, do h3 also so everybody know okay they have learned this this much i think almost we have covered 52 oh my god so if you know 52 command you almost you clear your interview <laughs> how do you know the 52 command just very difficult No, that's why I'm saying that it's uh, it's just uh, you have to you know do while doing. See, uh, we are working on a daily basis, so we know because we know the requirement actually. Based on that, we just do it. Basically, which commands we have to require that uh, uh, huh. we can know that yeah, we so, are daily using, then maybe. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah that's the thing, na. Mm. Uh, generally, we are using uh, because um, uh, when my, our process is completed, it, it will zip all the because I told right. Uh, let's suppose eight eight uh, um, a.m. to 7 pm the job is running in every 15 minute so what the after processing it will zip also so we can uh, we ha- again we have two command zip and zip again we have a gun zip also so three command let's suppose so again uh, that also we use on a you know daily basis we can uh, use that also right and there other commands are also there you know w get like if you um, if you uh, go to that project multi uh, one right so w get is what uh, you get all the um, you know software download software so we we can use w get also w get you are uh, you know that is for uh, you know installing so you have to give the path and then it will install 
okay now we can use a simple command ping command let's uh, ping command ping and then uh, um, like uh, give any um, uh, this one uh, ip address let give a uh, google ip address just check uh, google ip address just uh, ha one uh, anything you ha you can do no take 192 from 192 uh, just ping 192 dot 168 dot one 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 dot one ha huh. just i'm giving a random you know you can give anything so let's see so, see it's pinging it means it's, it's checking uh, uh, it's uh, internet is working or not <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so this is the thing uh, we have to do okay so this is all ha huh. so main thing is that uh, i just remember um, this file permission and that is a big topic i think uh, today we cannot go to cover uh, you know um, this uh, um, uh, permission one permission is uh, because uh, there we have to understand all the permission so just uh, remove this and go to the uh, just print ls hyphen lrt control c yeah can you tell me one second what it is exactly ping means ping you have to check that is uh, connecting to or not like one server is interacting or not so it's a working or not like google.com it's up or not even you can do for telnet also it's connected or not ping is just so you know ping is command and ping is a very basic command we, we don't do like ping it's a very basic command it just checking your internet is working or uh, not <laughs> that's it i think ping is a uh, just i just a uh, you know fun of i'm using a ping that's it So let's uh, use ls hyphen ls hyphen lrt. Tomorrow means uh, Monday we are going to see. You see d r w r x r something is there, right? See Linux one file permission is different. And then uh, sorry, directories are different. And then um, uh, go to the file. I'm sorry, uh, the second uh, one. Second, ha. Huh, see write w. So this is all the permission. so that we are going to uh, you know do it on monday and even more on this we are uh, we can check editor also let's uh, use editor also uh, vi or nano ha uh, nano let's see nano nano so we are in, in uh, file x right now yeah so if you see down everything is written now you can write anything and yeah so now you have to uh, for that you have to put i think control x right control x yeah, we have to put for exit uh, and then it will ask uh, yes yes you can put y so control x first and then it will uh, ask why yeah it's right so now if you see uh, we have created one uh, file and we have entered so it it just open one editor you can write anything just you know, like notepad plus plus is there right you can write anything when I mean, you can use a uh, more also uh, you you can use anything yeah no no Oh, file is not there. Did you save? No, I, I, I to check now. File X. What, what I uh, write over there? No, no. Uh, just check. No. Created or not? You put small X. It should be. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, that's it. See, yeah, this is a one, one good point. So this is a case sensitive. So X is a different thing, and is uh, big X is a uh, capital X is a different thing. so this is uh, now you want to edit it you can edit same way you go there and you can edit also so nano also you understand again go to nano uh, yeah so how to uh, uh, write you can write it something it then again you have to go out you have to uh, press control x and then it will ask yes or no so you put yes for saving see you can add a in 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 above also you can write anything so whatever you want to do you can just do it uh, because this is a editor let's go with the uh, uh, vi also 
let's suppose you want to edit uh, let's suppose some uh, some file is there again i'm taking example i'm that's taking my real time example so let's suppose a uh, um, uh, sometime we are getting events so let's uh, suppose uh, our event is uh, in the xml file it's uh, 4122 okay but we got a in in incorrect event some sometime we are getting this issue we are getting an incorrect event so that's why because of that our pro process is not running so what we have to do do there we have to go there and edit it sometime even we are getting the uh, old even id like let's suppose today is 29 away getting 28 in the same day due to some issue right so again what we are doing we are using same xml but what, what we do we are just we are changing the date so how to change that either go to the editor command and then no or you can uh, go, go with that uh, vi uh, vi editor so now we can go with the vi editor also so press i a for insert correct so now it will show uh, that you have in the command now you have to print um, um, put i then it will be uh, it will be the uh, you know writing modes now you can write anything okay now from this from nano what we uh, learn that control x and then y but here you have to press skip the first first uh, uh, button of your uh, you know uh, yeah, escape keyboard. escape and then you have to type colon and then w q and yeah and for uh, correct w so this uh, we have to give okay yeah let's do it again so that everyone because everybody saying oh it's very fast <laughs> just put vi Yes, the file name. File name. Yes. Enter again. Uh, uh, press I. See when he is pressing I. See it will I. change to insert. See insert. Let it insert. Okay. Now you uh, again you can put anything. And then again, yeah, A B C. Correct. Now again he is booking. Uh, just uh, do uh, you know very slowly. Just put first uh, uh, escape. Escape, escape. See, uh, now inside is gone. Okay, now. Yeah. Okay, one minute. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. put colon. Colon. W. W. Q. Q. Okay. See, W is for save. Colon. Q for quit. And even if we uh, sometimes we have to force, uh, you know, uh, so we can use uh, this. Uh, what do we call this one? Exclamation mark. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, exclamation mark. Correct, correct, correct. Now to enter. enter. See, it's gone. Okay. Yeah. Put history now, and then this is all learning for today. I think this is all. And now you can go and uh, this is. Now I you just. Uh, I do just, just one thing. Just copy this and uh, uh, file note. And now you are going to terminate also. Otherwise, it will charge you. <laughs> Other, I think you can. Uh, I think it's okay. I think it will not take that much. You just stop it. Uh, Just selling this, and then I will upload this to. Yeah, you can just upload it in. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys. A any any doubt on this? See, Linux. Just you have to do that. Only you can learn. So you cannot remember anything, right? It's based on requirement. Whatever requirement is there, you know, you have to just uh, figure out. So this is a very basic thing. Uh, I think most of this uh, you are not going to use because generally uh, in you know. devops uh, we just uh, it's a uh, predefined uh, you know uh, commands are there and you just need to run uh, so i think uh, it is all basic at least you know the uh, linux is very important for uh, you know devops world any query guys actually i have a doubt on ec2 instance uh mm huh -hmm. sharing screen uh mm huh -hmm. Are you sharing? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Ashwi, uh, the one thing mm -hmm. is that I'm following that V profile project. Mm -hmm. So yesterday I was just uh, uh, copying this uh, user data, mm -hmm. this SQL user data, and I was trying to keep in this folder. Uh, yeah. So I just copied it here over here. Let me do it in the front of you. So, uh, are you getting error or uh, it's not working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, here, uh, if you can see the script. So here, as you can see, it is running on the Ubuntu server. So in Ubuntu, when I log into the system and try to do the system CTL start MR, MariaDB, so it's showing as the system CTL command is not wrong. Oh. So, oh uh, yeah. OK, so uh, no, no, I think. Uh, you see, I just went in uh, to the CentOS and uh, I tried uh, to give the system system just showing as the command is not wrong. No, settings are div, I think uh, uh, for me it's not happened like that because I use it, it is working fine for me. Uh -uh. So you are not working for me. What, what uh, version you are using, CentOS 7? Yeah, it's 7. Then it's a pretty much state straightforward. Why it's not? Uh, was, but I think. Uh, Status STM CTL, huh? System uh, type, can we, type, correct? Can we check the version of the CentOS? Ah, just check the version of the CentOS because uh, you written correct. Uh, yeah, uh, where we can see, can you please guide me? No, 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 there only uh, you have to put command, command there only, yeah, okay. Yeah. Can you please tell me the command? Yeah, you just no, no. Just uh, you have to write. Uh, I think uh, CentOS uh, hyphen version, right? X. No, 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 no double. Uh, no, that is only my hyphen one. Just try chk config. Chk, CHK config. Yes. Okay. That is also, I think something went wrong then because no, uh, if you see, I think uh, only a basic CD is working. Apart from that, it's not, and nothing is working. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what I'm not figuring out uh, the issue over here. I just logged the instance, you can see, and I have just uh, taken the IP address and uh, logging into the putty. Okay. Mm. Actually, it's not happening like this. It's a any idea, uh, anyone? Sai, you have any idea? Sai or mm. no? Because generally, uh, it will show because system uh, says a default. I think uh, command and we can use it. Uh, mm -hmm. it's very. And uh, one more doubt is there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, which I think CentOS only you have logged in. That is also correct. Okay, he she, uh, she's doing six version. The uh, uh, my name six it's showing. Exactly, of course. Uh, I mean, most of the time this command is work on only seven version. Okay, that is a thing. Because generally I have choose seven. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so if I choose also, um, I try it from my end, but there also I got the same issue. Uh, can I do it now? No? and launching so yeah try something we will also learn something yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah see everything uh, you know somebody is working in some uh, somebody uh, if you talk, talk about 15 years back i worked on you uh, ubuntu now okay. you know my windows now a lot of other things so yeah this is the one i'm selecting but when you make sure that uh, you shut down also Okay. okay, okay. Um, because then you know 
did you select the basic one only otherwise it will cost you yeah yeah that's a basic that's the free one uh just uh, make sure that yeah and did you set the alarm also no i didn't just set, set it no 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 just set it see the first thing we have to do to set the alarm okay uh from where we are doing setting the alarm yeah i will tell you don't worry it's okay, just okay. Uh, uh aradhya you written na you just click on okay. that you will find the billing uh, and you can set there okay so this is when i'm going so guys you see this is the old uh, you know uh, page now ec2 is a different new version is there so uh, this is the different actually okay now we can uh, opt it for old and new also ha there is a there a toggle button is there in the top you can just go switch to new and uh, old so if you are seeing a screen and you are you are going to log in you say oh i am not getting uh, this what you are getting so then you know Uh, yeah, here one doubt is that here in the TCP it is running on the port number three three zero six. So uh, how can I specify that one? I need to add the rule or I need to give the specific port three three six zero. Yes, yes. If you see in, in, even in video also, the, he has mentioned uh, TCP. You have to select TCP and then uh, for Maria DB also. So uh, if you, I think uh, one more thing is that they have created a more system. I think three to five system they have created and uh, uh, they have did right. Yes, yes. And then uh, they had mentioned all the port, port like you know yes. um, for a DB also they have mm -hmm. port uh, uh, that um, um, MS SQL right MS yes, SQL yes. the port number and then all. So yeah. I think in that way you have to do. Um, then only it will work because mm -hmm. I also go through that and for me it's working fine. I just stuck on that uh, menu one, one, so I uh, I already uh, given you that uh, rabbit SQL one, right? Yeah, yeah, New yeah, one. yeah. So yeah, then it's work, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm also completed all these three. So guys, okay. just uh, create this all project so at least you understand the basic thing and you understand what you know uh, error we are getting, so we can learn from there. Because every time someone is doing, so we'll we'll get some you know new error, so we'll learn also from that error, right? Yeah, so I was asking that. Uh, no, add rule, add rule, add, add rule. rule. Mm. So when I was going through the videos, so uh, they directly selected from an existing security group. So just do source oh. source make anywhere. Karo. Sorry. Sorry. I just do a source custom. Okay. Then no, anywhere. no, 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 no. And okay, what happened? I let me tell you. Uh, she did not create a security group because first they have created security group. so you can select uh, that security group for every uh, uh, everything so i okay. think that is i think you have not uh, completed yeah, yeah, first you have yeah. to create a security group you have to uh, there you have to create uh, what is that uh, three i think rule you have to create right uh, i think you have not created that actually mm -hmm. so how to do that is create new security group right this one i have to click No, I think uh, before also you can even you can also use any way. Let's suppose uh, you use any way. Let's see what happened. Uh, It should be um, type SSH. Oh no, that is okay. The second one I'm saying. Uh, okay. Yeah, this one. See here you also all traffic you have to mention, na? Okay. Na? All traffic. All traffic. Yes, this okay. one. Then na, so I click the view launch. Yes. because i am just uh, i have also did uh, i think one one week later so now i am just not remembering it. 
Okay. Here, uh, my doubt is that here, if I want to specify mm. this port number, especially this one three three zero six. So, mm. how we are doing over here? I need to give. Ah, then we can. Ha! Ah, you can just uh, enter na custom. You have uh, uh, You have to give. No, then you then you don't have to mention that. Uh, All traffic I should not give, right? Ha! Uh -huh. You need to mention uh, custom. 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 Something custom. is there. I just. Ha! Uh, okay. Just mention port number here. And uh, from here also, uh, you need to select that uh, you know uh, security group. That's why I'm saying now you have not created security group. Okay. Okay. Just select select that. Select anywhere. Ah, uh, select mm -hmm. anywhere. Yeah, this one only, right? Anywhere. Uh, see, uh, it's not there. I'm not uh, seeing that option actually. Yeah, it's anywhere there, but uh, it's not uh, you know. It, it uh, you need to create a security group like app security group and then web security group that you have not created. Okay. So I think you have to go. Uh, you have to check again that uh, video and then you have to because generally first thing they did it they have created some security group and there mm -hmm. they had mentioned all the port and everything. Then uh, while doing this they have selecting that also. Okay. But I am not finding in that your you know. So let's keep uh, any, anyone else did this project? No one. Why? Yeah. Uh, if I keep all traffic, so will it take that the port number as I have mentioned in that? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think that will take. Can you just uh, click on this zero 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 something? Let's see you have created or not. Ah, uh, okay. See, this is uh, I. You, there's no option. That's mm -hmm. why, no. Mm -hmm. Because I just might destroy my uh, EC2. Otherwise, I can show you. I'm because I'm just using it. I'm just destroying it because it will cost me. Then yeah. you know, I'm just destroying it. You know, I, I terminated it okay. after learning. So okay. I'm getting confused with the creating a new security group. So this is mm. what if I have. Okay. Let, so let, let's let's do one thing. Go to okay. the security group first. No, go go back. Go to the services. And so then, uh, huh, uh, go to the security group. I think VPC. Yeah, go to VPC. Okay. Um, that is only security guy. Also, they have created VPC. Huh. Oh, see. Uh, no, no, no. I think security group. You click, click on that. Uh, see if you it's a uh, by default or you have created. No, you have created three permission. No, that is of a VPC, na. Hmm. I will check and then I I will let you know because uh, I will also have to check. Okay. Uh, I have created uh, for me. It's working fine and uh, there's no issue. I think uh, mm -hmm. the thing is first is that uh, you have to create a security group. Just watch that video and you have to uh, create uh, three rules. I guess uh, three. One is for app, and what is for I think web, mm -hmm. and uh, what is for backend, right? Three three uh, backend service we are running, right? Uh, this one MySQL, okay. Rabbit, uh, and the one more thing, right? Three we are running. So uh, I think we have to create three, uh, you know, uh, rule, I guess, what I remember. Okay. okay. But uh, again, I will go through uh, that, and uh, because I'm going to. Uh, live i will show maybe monday or maybe wednesday i will show mm -hmm. live here also that project because mm -hmm. i'm just covering the basic one first and then i will uh, you know uh, do that also in front of no no yes. this is quicker all traffic means it will allow for all ports yes yes yeah. no yeah. issue it will it will work it will work ha huh. so the basically it will work let let's do let's try uh, okay. at least okay i'll do mm -hmm. i'll try with all traffic yeah um so i think yeah we you can stop the recording ram i guess yeah just it's okay